So it was quite an interesting experience for me to see the completely different perspective of those people who have experienced the event in Yungay, who have suffered, who have lost their family members. This controversial point of view I did not only experience in Yungay, but also in another place which we are going to visit now. This thing where we are walking on right now, this is a glacier moraine. So what is a glacier moraine? There was a glacier here before, so everything was full with ice and this ice was always in movement and it transported all these rocks to the side. Here to the right of the glacier and on the other side to the left of the glacier. So walking here on this glacier moraine, you have to be very careful because this uh, till material, this is not stable at all. Okay, so it's just loosened rock. Uh, as soon as you step on the wrong side here, you might fall a lot, about more than 100 meters, I think, down. So be careful. This is a glacier lake in Laguna Park Cocha at an elevation of 4,600 meters. In the 1930s, the lake level of Lake Bacacocha was much higher, even though there was much less water, so kind of in volume. And uh, this was because there was still a huge part of the glacier within the basin. And um, this situation was very well documented by Hans Kinzel. So in 1941, Lake Bacacocha drained suddenly for an unknown reason. Yeah, a cloth which was happened here is uh, a glacier lake outburst flood. That means in most of the times something fell into the glacier lake or the, uh, the impounding moraine wall uh, gets destroyed and so the, a huge amount of water and uh, stones and mud flows downstream to the valley. A huge breach was eroded into the moraine dam and even though most of the material eroded was deposited um, quite close to the dam, a flood wave developed which traveled all the way down to the city of Huaraz at a distance of 23 kilometers. And on its way down, this flood wave consumed another lake. The uh, line which is pretty straight in the landscape. Yeah and um, uh, was the lake level, level before the dam breached. The city of Huaraz is located directly at the outlet of the valley. The people of Huaraz were not at all prepared for a flood wave of this type, so that the event evolved into a huge disaster with at least 1,600 fatalities. From the 1980s on, uh, the lake was much bigger, was getting much bigger because of the glacier retreat. And yeah, the people remembered the catastrophe of 1941 quite well. And so they installed drainage systems, they built an artificial dam, and also they have some monitoring systems over there. 
My work here is the radio communication. From here we communicate everything that happens, the weather, the lake level, everything we report down to the base. The base is in the city, what else? We do this because this lake is at risk. Why is it at risk? Because there could be a fall of an avalanche. And this could result in a disaster if the lake is hit and the water reaches the city. We inform the city by radio. All information is sent down to the base through 24 hours. How many people work here? We are two. Sometimes we go down to buy some food and then we return. I couldn't imagine. It's like I like to be uh, in some remote places for some time, but not like all the time. That's crazy. I think we are now driving down to the hotel. Wait a minute.